What's going on YouTube land? It's your boy Drizzo, and I'm back with another gun miss and facts video. This one's going to be a little more lighthearted. It's kind of interesting <clears throat> and uh, we need this because obviously guys, if you caught the stream, I'm pretty on fire right now, but let me show you some good things. So I just had this come in today. Oh, and before I get into this, my name is Drizzo. I carry black powder revolvers for self-defense and personal protection. If you really want to know why, head on over to my channel. That being said, all the guns that I'm going to show in this video um, are not actually firearms. Um, I am not breaking any YouTube policy, state of Texas, or the federal government. So, that being said, I just got this in the mail today, guys. This thing is freaking cool. So, I got another Karambit. I don't know why I like the Karambit, but, like, these things are just, like, way too cool. So, this is a neck one. This actually, like, sits right here and, like, will go underneath my neck and no one knows I have it. And it's got a nice little pointed hook right here, and it's got cool little finger grooves, and it's gold. So, yeah. Anyway, that's cool. Also, another thing that came in. So, this is my carry holster that I've had for my 1860 Pieta revolver. As you can see, this is a 4-inch barrel. Um, it's not a 4-inch barrel. It's a 3-inch. And the problem I've had is, and this is my 1860, by the way. So, the problem that I've had is this thing sits way too low in it, right? I can still draw, I can still draw efficiently, but to make it easier, I got the 38 revolver Houston holster. I personally recommend these guys. These these things are cool. Um, you're a bigger dude or you just like to carry low, unlike Kyrodex. Um, they do make a couple of them that do ride low, but this right here, it works perfectly. It sits underneath your stomach, I carry appendix. But anyway, look. Ha ha! That's cool. Still guards the, still still has the um, uh, trigger guard, and the hammer sits right here. So I can carry this, and I can now draw this even faster. I was doing some draw practice before I got on here, and it feels so much more fluid, and it's it's just incredible. It's 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 incredible. I love it. So anyway, I'm a little flush and red because I just took a shower. But <clears throat> guys, this one is awesome. Check this out. Okay, gun myths and facts. Fifty caliber rifles, which I will have one day. Here's a myth. 50 caliber rifles are the favorite weapon of terrorists. Um, you guys may not have heard this one, but uh, the news media used to push this back in like 2001, uh, all the way up to like 2009, 2010. But let's go ahead and debunk all this stuff real quick, all right? <clears throat> Most terrorist attacks are in the form of bombings, by the way, 90% of them. Other acts, such as kidnapping, 6%. Armed attacks, 2%. Arson, 1%, firebombing, 1%, and other methods, 2%, are far less common. Of the armed attacks, the most common weapon used, okay, ready for this? Fully automatic AK-47s. Golly, who would have figured that? By the way, um, if you need one of those, I heard that they let out the Merchant of Death for someone who hates our country and doesn't stand for our flag. So, yeah, you can pick one of those up now. Oh, and he also believes that... Um, our country's fallen because we don't follow our Christian values. Um, Merchant of Death, by the way. So check him out. I think it's like 1-800-RUSSIA. Buy an AK-47 now. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's another fact. A single 50 caliber rifle costs, and most of you will probably know this, uh, you're probably thinking of the Barrett, upwards of $10,000. Yet terrorists can buy the favored AK-47, ready, in Pakistan for less than... Would you guess less than this gun? You'd be correct. This one costs full price $460 with tax and shipping. Okay, six rounds, black powder, can't reload it, right? Would you guess less than this one? A pocket 22 companion, black powder revolver, five shots. Keep in mind you, you're only gonna get to go through one cylinder because you're not gonna be able to reload it fast enough in a situation. Would you guess less than one of these? $329. You'd be correct. They pay $200 for a fully automatic AK-47, about the same price as a 45 high point. Okay? History shows they opt for the AK-47. Here's another one. A, uh, 50 caliber rifles are heavy. In case you didn't know that, they're about 20 to 35 pounds. And expensive, $3,000 for a single shot. Keep in mind you, that is a single shot rifle to $10,000 each with ammunition costing, here's the cool part, two to $5 for each round. However, um, 
if you want Barrett ammo, it is, I believe, $8 around now, just for basic full metal jacket. And the crazy part, it's impossible to conceal. Go figure. Typically four feet long. Using usually single shot, slow to reload, and impractical for terrorists because they're not going to go spend $10,000 on a Barrett and load up a box magazine of 10. Another fact, 50 caliber rifles have only been used in 18 crimes in the history of the United States. American gun makers sold 50 caliber rifles to terrorists. No, that would be the merchant of death. This study by the Anti-Gun Violence Policy Center was inaccurate. Gee, a, an anti-gun organization pushing gun sales that were to terrorists to remove firearms from law-abiding citizens and then letting out the guy who actually sells them to terrorists for a pothead female WNBA basketball player. Go figure. <laughs> the rifles in question were sold to the United States government. That could be possible. Years later, the U.S. government gave the rifles to Afghan freedom fighters to defeat the former Soviet Union. Yeah, when the gun maker, oh, it was the gun, oh, that's right, the government gave other people guns. Which, by the way, they're doing that in Ukraine. Um, where's my AK-47? Where's my M4? Where's my rocket launcher? Oh, no, 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 but you're in Ukraine, you can have it. Because they're not the one of the most corrupt money laundering places in the world. I heard that somewhere. Nah, it can't be true. Um, there is no direct connection between gun makers and terrorists. Wow. And none of the rifles have been used in terrorist actions. Go figure. 50 caliber shooters are terrorists in training. Bull. And once again, and, and before I read this, uh, $10,000 for a Barrett right now. About ten to $12,000. Eight dollars around, and most gun ranges will probably not let you shoot them. But let's go ahead and read the facts. The average 50 caliber enthusiast is a successful businessman with an annual income of fifty thousand dollars or more. Bull, that's way more than that because I make more than that. Hardly a terrorist profile. The Founding Fathers would have had no use for 50 caliber rifles. Common guns of the early American Republic were larger than 50 caliber, many measuring up to .812 caliber. The famous, and some of you may know this, the Kentucky Rifle, a name eventually given to, the, to most rifles made by German immigrants, were usually between .6 to .75 caliber. If you guys didn't uh, look at it, Grantham did one on a flintlock rifle and it was a 0.54 caliber and that thing destroyed um it's pretty cool video you guys should go check it out here's another myth 50 calibers are capable of piercing airline fuel tanks from a mile away most expert long distance shooters cannot hit a stationary target under perfect condition windless conditions at such distances one notable exception in vietnam ill-trained terrorists shooting a high recoil 50 caliber rifle at fast moving targets at 280 mile per hour airplanes have no chance. So the real science actually debunked that one. The only known uses of 50 caliber weapons in downing aircraft have been military aircraft using fully automatic machine guns spray firing while in combat against other aircraft. And as a sniper fire on stationary aircraft, i.e. on the ground, on enemy airfields. Not even the military's best sharpshooters are going to ignite a jet fuels tank when the jet is flying between two and 300 miles per hour. Wow. Another myth, 50 caliber bullets can penetrate concrete bunkers. It takes 300 rounds to penetrate two meters of reinforced concrete at 100 meters. At $5 per round, it would cost a terrorist $1,500 in ammunition to shoot into one bunker. Wow, that's pretty much debunked. 
50 caliber bullets can pierce light armor at four miles <laughs> at 35 meter distance. 0.5% of the mythical four mile distance, a 50 caliber round will go through one inch armor plate. Piercing any armor at four miles is highly improbable. It is exceedingly difficult to hit a target, even a large one, at anything over 1,200 to 1,500 yards. By even highly trained individuals, the ammo is designed for a machine gun and is generally only good for two to three minutes of angle. Fraction of a degree of accuracy. That equates to 30 to 45 inch circle at 1,500 yards with a perfect rifle, no wind, or other conditions and a trained shooter. And I don't think that a terrorist is gonna be that skilled or they have that much money. You see what they wear, you see they live in caves. They're not spending it on 50 cows. Although Joe Biden was really gracious enough to gift them scars and M4s and tanks and helicopters. So uh, they might actually have the money now. Uh, thanks Joe Biden. 50 caliber rifles can knock a helicopter from the sky. Well, we know that's BS, but let's find out why. The terminal energy of a 50 caliber 6,000 feet pounds is not enough to knock a modern military aircraft from the sky unless it hits a critical component like a fuel line. Records exist showing this has been done with common smaller caliber assault rifles such as an AK-47. 50 caliber guns are for snipers. Let's, let's dig in the facts on this one, guys. Just bear with me, okay? Americans have been long-distance target shooters since revolutionary times. According to period writings, Americans were shooting small targets at upwards of 150 yards using simple Kentucky long rifles and muskets. The use of a 50 caliber by the IRA in North Ireland to shoot both soldiers and police officers at very short range, never more than 275 yards, also gave the weapon a worldwide notoriety when the world's media slapped a sniper label on the terrorist taking the shots. They obviously were not and soon ran scared when professional snipers were deployed to stop them. Go figure. That is a uh, little basic thing on 50 caliber. I thought you guys think would uh, appreciate this one. It's kind of interesting. It's a little more lighthearted, but um, yeah, we debunked a lot of myths uh, that the media tried to propagate back in the early 2000s. So yeah jpfo.org guys um i love you this was a really great video um i always love doing these 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 put me in a better spirit and a better mood um so i appreciate you guys' support please give me a thumbs up a like share always comment this stuff guys we are approaching on 2000 subscribers and as you know we hit another thousand we are going for another giveaway so that's about it guys um, January t-shirt launch. We're going to Patreon in January. It'll be a $5 a month subscription. All of that money will be put towards a lawsuit to sue the fifth district of Texas and abolish the Lautenberg law. So that's about it guys. Um, Mike's life deuces wild RC and black powder Papa. They are my affiliate link channels. I love each and every one of those gentlemen. I have nothing but high respect for them. Please. If you're not sub to them, go sub to them and tell them I sent you because I want the credit. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, uh, Deuces will be on uh, Friday for the live stream. I'm going to have my buddy David, uh, who is a trucker, on next week for a, uh, a Drizo Nation live cast as well. And uh, go harass Papa and see if we can get him on sometime next week or the week after. So that's it. I love you guys. You take care. Always carry a gun. And as always, I will see you in the next one.